welcome to the stock workout where we flex on the market to make gains. In this video, we're going to be talking about Zomedica ticker symbol ZOM. Now I've been previously covering this stock in the run up to its true former release at the end of March. In my previous video, I said that we were heading towards a breakout and in this video, we're going to take a look at the charts and see where we're at. So Zomedica on the 15th of March, um, they have closed at $2.49 and post market it has gone up to $2.50. Now there's a lot of good anticipation and good sentiment towards the release of their true former platform. This is one of them hot stocks at the minute. So I'll be um, going over this and reviewing this as we come closer and come towards that uh, end of March date, um, just so everybody can have a um, insight uh, to my analysis of this stock. So I've got the 21 day EMA pulled up alongside the 50, 100 and 200 day moving averages. Um, those are the simple moving averages. I've got the volume and the RSI pulled up. So if we start off with the volume, the volume for the day was up um, more than its 10 day average volume volume sat at 102 million average volume for the last 10 days is 72 million um market cap sat at 2.35 billion currently um so let's take a look at the charts so one of the main things that i wanted to point out and i did do in my last video was that we were forming this double bottom here um now i'll just indicate that on the charts so it'll be here and here so those were the two points that i said were a double bottom and we have now broke out so if i just draw that on the chart just to show you what that looks like we came down here we went up here came back down and now we are heading in this direction here so hopefully we are going to see newer highs and we are hopefully going to retest that previous high uh, sat at around three dollars previously when when this double bottom was forming we did see the rsi drop quite low uh, this was due to a whole market sell-off as you all know um, for those that are not aware it was tied to the bond yields as bond yields were rising uh, there was a huge sell-off uh, in the markets so rsi dropped twice uh, dropped quite low twice and we saw a reflection in that in the price um, this double bottom's formed and we have pushed through. Now, if I get rid of um, this drawing that I've put on, there's another point that I want to point out. If I just draw um, a square over this area here. Now, what you can see within that is the 21 day EMA crossed over the 50 day moving average, then the 100 day and now the 200 day moving average again that confirms we are back in bullish territory rsi sat at 67 so it's slightly on the high side we have seen the rsi fluctuate a bit just over uh, 70 hitting 80 and then coming back down to 67 but the momentum has been bullish we have that double bottom formed and now we are hopefully going to push through to newer highs the 21 day EMO, EMA crossing over the 50, 100 day and 200 day moving average indicates that we are in bullish territory. The bulls are in control. And given the fact that true form is only roughly around two weeks away at the end of this month, um, there's a lot of good sentiment towards it. A lot of buying pressure. Um, a lot of people want to get in on the stock and that is pushing the price higher. Uh, after taking a look at the charts and seeing the double bottom form, I am quite bullish on this. Um, and after seeing the 50, 100 and 200 day moving average being crossed over by the 21 day EMA, um, now I am completely bullish on this. The charts look good. Volume is up, which is another thing that we do want to see. Um, so it's great things from here on out, guys. In in my opinion, um, this double bottom that we did form is is picture perfect. In my opinion, we saw we saw the price come down to here rise back up drop again and now we're shooting straight back up this is picture perfect in my opinion and 
having that coupled with the 21 day EMA crossing over 50, 100 and 200 day moving averages, you know, I am completely bullish on this right now. Volumes up as well. Um, yeah, I'm completely bullish on this. We've got a huge catalyst two weeks away. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Any updates on that. And uh, for those of you that have this, I would say continue to hold. And for those of you that are not in this, I would say now is a good time to buy in in um, anticipation for that true former release. If you appreciate that analysis, subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing you more content. If uh, any of you have any other stocks you want me to take a look at the charts and review, uh, drop it in the comment down below. Uh, for those of you that are in ZOM, let me know what price you got in at. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.